टेंथ सूत्र अविवेको माया सौषुप्तम unconsciousness and lack of self awareness create the illusion of deep sleep that which we call as deep sleep is the final frontier of maya because it gives the illusion that no objects remain so it appears so much like samadhi so shukti is the final frontier of maya you know what is maya what is maya illusion why is maya mentioned only in the context of sushupti because only in sushupti do you feel that maya has vanished if the objects are illusory then you feel and see no objects in sushupti so only in sushupti can you be assured that because objects are not there so maya too is not there maya expresses herself through objects in sushupti in deep sleep in dreamless sleep the objects vanish if objects vanish then it is easy to feel as if maya herself has vanished the sage is cautioning the sage is saying don't be indiscreet don't be an aviveki had maya totally vanished then how could you have woken up from deep sleep when your name was called had you really given up on all thought and identity then how is it possible that this stage gives way to other stages how is it possible that from sushupti you return to the normal state of waking identification very quickly this distinction is important to make and this distinction would be understood only by the ones who are sincere about it what is sushupti what does sushupti mean to us sushupti is a great escape sushupti means a disappearance of objects only for the objects to return a little while later sushupti means the world is gone but not really gone it is only suspended temporarily it will come back so sushupti is like a weekend vacation the evil boss is gone only to return on monday weekends enable you to sustain all the torture that you suffer in the weekdays had there been no weekends you would have quit your job long back that is why you are given so many holidays so that you can keep taking the shit do you get it similarly sushupti is the last and very powerful recourse of maya you feel as if the world is gone and you have come into samadhi but it is not samadhi it is deceptive very soon somebody will call your name or the alarm will ring and you will be back into the waking state very soon the boss will call and the vacation will be over so the sage is cautioning that apply your discretion vivek do not be taken in this is not that as a as a gateway because it is so close to samadhi in some sense yes because for such some time the mind gets a feel of its disappearance it's not a real feel it's a proximate feel but yet yes 
that is why sages have often talked of sushupti and samadhi together but in practices like yoga nidra where you're trying to the author is the author is cautioning against all such things he is saying that if you have that option available then you will continue to be enslaved by the world you will say whenever the world becomes too heavy then i will escape into yoga nidra now you will not go for the real thing because you have a cheap substitute available it's a false refuge There is a thing called deep meditation. What is deep meditation? Okay, so a deep state of non-emptiness. Who experiences that? That is always there. You are talking about the Atman. There is nothing called deep meditation. It's, it's it's a false. It seems a false simile because you have to wake up and be the boss comes back. And in deep meditation, it's possible to go off on a retreat, go into deep spaciousness, whatever you have in describe deep meditation as, and then you go back to the world and leave the boss comes back again. So that is the same. What we call as meditation is just an escape. That is why. it happens only between 7 am and 8 am and then at 8:30 you are back into the same grind in fact it is because you want to excel in worldly affairs that you enter into more of so called meditations you see you say you want to meditate why because you are tense and why are you tense because you are neck deep into the world so you will relax and now you will relax so that you can take more of the tension hmm you used to go to the tree from work that is right that's right so what we call as meditation is almost like rishikesh right you are retreating from the world coming here only to go back go back more calm more composed so that you do better there it is not as if you have seen that as false you just want to do better there have better relationships better this better that ha huh? it is better to find rishikesh wherever you are if you come to a physical place called rishikesh you will have to go back hmm